does it take to get through to you, Roger? Okay, Blake, you're out of here, George. Oh, oh Frank, oh, oh, whatever you said to whoever, I just, I love you. I'm your friend for life. Oh, come here, come here, come here. It wasn't me, okay? I'd like to take credit, but I can't. Uh, all charges are dropped against you. Oh, what, Ross felt bad about how he talked to me, and so he straightened this whole thing out? No, it wasn't Ross. As a matter of fact, it was Amanda Spalding. She called in from the emergency room and said the whole thing was a big misunderstanding. Oh, you're right, it was big, but I'm going to clear this one up. Frank. Hey. Hey, we came as soon as we could. Thanks for coming. It was all yours. This court sees no reason to remove these two children from the one parent that they have lived continuously with for the past five years. Now, the divorce court may see things differently, but for the immediate future, there will be no change. The children will remain with Mr. Lewis, but not Ms. Dutton. Ms. Dutton will immediately vacate the Lewis residence. You're not the prize patrol. I know you don't want to see me. I really don't care one way or the other. Look, I couldn't leave. Oh, I'm so glad. That really makes my day. Dinah, would you please listen to me? If you don't me? move your foot, you're going to lose it. I okay, need it. I will move my foot, okay? But first, I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. That's where you're wrong. Yes, that's what I said. If there's anything new on the satellite costs, I want you to call me in my room at the hospital right away. Yes, of course I'm well enough to take the call. I'll check in later. Secretary. <coughs> mm. oh, Blake, I'm glad to see you. I don't think so. I forgive you for locking me in the construction <laughs> shack. How magnanimous. See, there's no way you could have known that I nearly freeze to death. I locked you in a cardboard shack that any five-year-old could have gotten out of. Oh, but not you. Oh, no. You were way too busy figuring out ways that you could return that favor, weren't you? Thanks to you, Amanda, I was arrested, and I was locked up next to a cross-dressing serial killer. Oh, what a charming combination. <coughs> oh, I gotta hand it to you, Amanda. That was a real beaut of a payback. A real beaut. But it pays in comparison to what I'm going to do to you now. I am going to get back at you if it takes every last one of those naturally curly hairs on your head. Thank you so much for coming. Lucy, there's been a terrible mistake. Maybe your brother could listen to you. And the police have been very cordial to me, but they've arrested an innocent person. I can't even tell you the terrible things that they say that I've done. Marion. There was a call for you at work. Uh, who from? From your mother. My mother she says she wants you to stop lying right now. I never wanted this to happen. I only wanted to see my kids. Mr. Marler, you may do so, but my ruling stands. Well, there's nothing in the child welfare report or the psychiatric report that would warrant the removal of Ms. Dutton from Mr. Lewis's residence. I mean, she is recovering from alcoholism and is doing an excellent job of parenting. Mr. Marler, my decision is not based on Ms. Dutton's medical history. I'm more concerned about the present. 
people call me old-fashioned, if you will, but I don't think children should be raised in a home where a single parent lives with his new significant other without benefit of matrimony. Well, I think my client agrees with you because she didn't move into the household until the wedding night. Mr. Marler, that marriage has been annulled. If Mr. Lewis wishes to have his children remain with him, then Miss Dutton will have to move out. With all due respect, I don't believe the children it understand the subtleties of... It seems to them. me that Mr. Lewis has been moving just a bit quickly. Uh, starting with his petition to this court two years early to have Reba Shane Lewis declared no, legally no, no. dead. Everybody, including a circuit court judge, your agrees client, that she was dead. Your client brought a new woman into the lives of his children. He encouraged them to call her mommy. It would almost seem to this court that Mr. Lewis is trying to make sure that Reva Shane Lewis stays dead to her children. Damn you, Reva, damn you! Oh, Mr. Lewis! Mr. Lewis! Mr. Lewis. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Zest. Now there are two ways to get zestfully clean, original and whitewater fresh zest. Late at night, bold thoughts and beautiful dreams take control. The bold and the beautiful weekdays. Don't you wish it were tomorrow? Are you happy now, Rita? Is this what Mr. you want? I can't Mr. believe you would be vicious. And would you sit down? Mr. Oh Mr. Lewis, please! Control yourself or I will have to have you cited for contempt. Your Honor, we apologize. I realize that it is difficult to rein in your emotions in a case such as this, but one more such outburst from you, Mr. Lewis, and I will have to seriously reconsider my order to allow minor children to remain in the custody of a man with such a volatile temper. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I apologize. It won't happen again. Thank you. See that it doesn't. My ruling stands. Your Honor. Mr. Marlin, if you wish to challenge my ruling, you know how to go about doing that. As for the present, I expect you, Miss Dutton, to cease residing with Mr. Lewis until such time as you are legally married. Any attempt to defy this order will be considered contempt of court, and I will have a warrant issued for your arrest. Mr. Lewis... Do you understand me perfectly well? <laughs> yes, Judge. Ms. Dutton? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. This hearing is over. Have a nice day. You had to hurt us, didn't you? Judge, you had to, you just had to make Josh, it hurt. I, I never both meant to. Let me just tell you something, Josh, Reba. Please. What you did today was the worst mistake of your entire life, and I'm going to make you pay for it. I never wanted anything to come out of that house. I just wanted to see my... Oh, that is such a no, wrong, Reba. How can you even say that? But you couldn't do that, could you? You couldn't bend an inch, could you? I would have dropped this whole suit if you just come to me and said, let's compromise, let's, let's share. Why would anybody want to share anything with you? You're not that kind you? of a man, are you, Joshua? No, you wanted to be the baddest badass in court. Never blink, never bend, and never, never back down. If you can't negotiate, why don't you just destroy? Is that it? Me about destruction. You know, I used to think that your daddy had the had the ground playing hardball, but you've just set a whole new standard, Joshua, and it was low. It was right, so right. low. No, we got to get out of here, Josh. <laughs> just leave it. Come on. Josh, you know I'm right. Ignore him. No. Ignore him. You, you, can, you can ignore the truth, but but not for long. Deep down in your heart, you know I'm right. That we can fix this. It's not too late. Call me. I can help. 
I, no, I don't want you, you know to do what? that. I want to. No. He already picked up the pieces once after the masquerade ball. Well, that just means I'm I have just not going to let you do it again, okay? Hey, look, you can't toss me around like a rag doll like you can Josh and Alan. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm not going for the dive. It's me here. I'm here. I'm here for you because I want to be here for you. Anything, just name it. Let me be, please. No, no. I just, uh, you just can't get rid of me that easy. Not even you. Especially you. I don't lie. No, your mother says that you do. She says she knows all of your lies, Brent. I don't understand what you're talking about. My name is Marion. I think you know that. Marion, it's gonna be all right. Your mother forgives you for all of the bad things that you've done. I haven't done anything bad. And she wants you to forgive her for, for all the punishings. She promises she'll never do it again. It's time, all right? Really, you can. But you're gonna have to do something for her first. Well, I always do what Mother asks. You're gonna have to tell the police the truth. About everything. About who you really are. And what you did. Go on. You can tell Frank. My brother, he's really very understanding. I know... I know that is scary, but trust me, this is the best thing that you can do for this. Okay? Go on. Tell him that Brent and Marion are the same person. Everybody wants to help you, but you have to help them. It's the best thing. It's the best thing if this goes to trial. things the way they were okay you were hurting i had to come back for what i will do whatever i can to make it up to you forget about it i don't need your help screwing up my life i'm perfectly capable of doing that on my own i don't want you to hate me you make it so easy though i'm not like that you better get used to it as the tree grows so runs his little sap you're roger's son everyone hates him everyone will hate you damn it i am not my father I don't want to use this, but I will if I have to. How many hairs do you think you could get before security gets here? You can't all pull. Bad idea, Blake. By the time security pulls you out of me, the cops will be oh. here. Oh. And... Excuse me? Some... What is this? Madam's private phone? Did we have this all up last night? What are... We Please. did. We did. We could have called for help. Oh, that's ridiculous. Of course I didn't have it. It came with my things this morning. Your things this morning? What? Did you no, Amanda, I don't see any of your things around. You're lying. Admit it. Just put my head down. Oh, just. I, oh, you stop. don't know what you're talking about. You had this phone at that construction oh, site, and you could have Blake. called for help, and you stayed there on purpose. Prove it. I don't have to prove it. I know it. Blake, I know you're angry. Angry? Please. Angry? You have no... No idea how angry I am. She just lift my head. Oh, yeah, let me help you. <coughs> let me help you, Mary. Hey! Wash you like I, a bow. Actually, you know, Diana came here this morning. Hey! hey. You and and, 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 and she, she's a lovely girl, don't you? No, she, she's a shrew. Well, actually, she did. Th Blake, Blake, please, please, just put me down! Hey! She, she came this morning. Yeah. She overreacted about my condition. I was really bad when they brought me in, you know, and I guess she wanted to protect me when she saw how out of it I was. I, next thing I know, Blake, she called the cops and you... you, you and I was arrested. arrested and I was locked up next to a, a homicidal maniac, Brent Lawrence. At least you got something in common. Oh, yeah? You know what? <coughs> what did we do with that? Oh, yes. I think we hey, do. Hey, 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 didn't I call the police and tell them to let you out? I called as soon as I heard. 
Tell me something, Amanda. That construction shack was made of pasteboard. You had tools all over the place. You had crowbars. You had saws. You never once thought of breaking out. Oh, I'm lousy with tools. That's because you didn't want to leave, did you? You wanted to teach me a little lesson, and it nearly backfired on you. You wanted to make Ross think that I was this jealous little ferret. Tell me the truth, Amanda. It's just you and me. There's nobody else here. You can deny it later. My word against yours. But you owe me the truth. You owe me that much. You set me up, didn't you? Hey, why so quiet? Well, we did beautifully today, even if it is only the first step. I just didn't think things were going to get so dirty. Oh, custody battles are never fun. Come on, cheer up. You're on your way to getting to be with your children. Right. My children. Now, they're going to come after you with both barrels now, so I'd recommend finding a career or at least some kind of gainful employment. You'll need to appear as self-sufficient as possible. I've always made my own way in life. Well, as long as you're doing it, when time comes to go back to court. And when will that be? I'll let you know as soon as I know. In the meantime... I know, I know. Don't get into any trouble. Don't make any public scenes. And stay away from Josh Lewis. When the two of you get together, it seems things become quite heated. Don't worry. Come on, sister, I'll take you home. Oh, no, she's coming with me. Now, you listen to me, Fuzzburger. You got no more right than a June bug to be in a... Pop, 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 please, really, just go. Oh, go home. Honey, you, go home you and need stay me there. Now. No, I want you to go home. Congratulations, you're one round one. Yeah, well, I, I didn't win my children back. They got Annie out of their lives. And why do I feel so bad? I know. Well, because you're not cold-hearted or vindictive. I mean, there's enough pain and hurt flying around here to knock out Mike Tyson. But look at you. You're still standing. Not a mark on you. None that show, anyway. And now Joshua thinks that I really wanted Annie out of the house. I never thought that that's what the judge was going to do. Really. I never meant to louse up his marriage. The trouble is, I'm not dead. And if that causes problems in their marriage, there's nothing I can do about it. You don't have to tell me I'm on your side. You know, I'm not rich like Alan Spaulding or good-looking like Josh Lewis, but I got a couple of things I think those guys don't have. Um, I'm fearless, and I'm convinced that you need me in your life, so that's a pretty dangerous combination. <laughs> That's a smile. Come on. Get a real one out of you. Come on. Let's celebrate. Oh, I don't feel like... No, it. not you. Me. Brent Lawrence is arrested. He's probably going to be going away for a long time to pay for what he did to Nadine and Lucy and everybody else. So, what do you say? Come on. Come on. Forget about them for an afternoon. All right. All right. <laughs> Forever, though, I promise you that. We don't know that. I, I know it, though. With everything inside of me, with every beat of my heart, Reva can beat us up over and over again, but she's not going to win. We don't know how much I want to believe you. Then do. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Let's go in. Shane. 
Does Shane and I have to go live with Mama? What gave you that idea? Papa. Well, your grandfather Hawk was here today. After you left this morning. Oh, Why am I, not I see. Well, I'm going to have to have a little talk with him, I think. Do we have to go away, Daddy? Answer his question, Daddy. Shane wants to know. No. Back up a little bit, okay? <laughs> what is it? We, uh... Did you make a mistake? Do we have to move? <sighs> Mommy? No, my darling. You children don't have to go anywhere. There's something you're not telling. You're a very smart little girl, Mara. Okay, <clears throat> guys. Um, Annie... Annie but, won't... You know, why don't we sit on the couch and we can uh, have a nice talk? Yeah, you're a big guy. I just have to go away for a little while. No one wants you to play my game with oh, me. Son, um, that's, that's Mama. Mama's not going to be able to play a game with you today, okay? Why are you going away? And what's a while? It's, uh, it's just a little while. Yeah, that's not even long enough a... for you to miss me. <coughs> I like playing with you, Mommy. Well, boy, I like playing with you, too. And we can still play together. It's just that I'm not going to be staying here at night, okay? I will visit you, and you can visit me anytime you want. That's right. Every single day, That's right? That's right. Nothing is going to change, guys. We're still a family. Mm -hmm. But families live together. Mm. Mama did this, didn't she? Yes, sweetheart, she did. The judge just decided that it was best that I move into my old apartment again until we get married. But you are married. I was the bridesmaid, and she carried the no, rings. Honey. I didn't drop any. Shane. Oh, oh, honey, don't oh, cry. It's going to be okay. Guys. Please, Daddy. Oh. Don't let her go. Honey, I'm not going to go far away, and I will see you first thing in the morning. I'll take you to visit her first thing That's in the right. Morning. That's right. You can come to the hospital, and, and you can wear that stethoscope Dr. Rick gives you. I don't want to. Stethoscope. I want you stay, Daddy. Make her stay. Make mommy stay. Mother. Yes, Brent. All I wanted was your approval. A smile or a kind word. Something that would let me know that... that you thought I was as good as Cassie. I just wanted you to love me as much as you loved her. <clears throat> but no matter how hard I tried... or what I did... you never could. That's not true. No, no. You could never love me, and I know that now. Marion. Marion, I want to speak to Brent. Lucy, I've told you, and I've told you, and i told you, I don't know what Brent is. I'm sorry. I know Brent was mean to you. I know that. I never wanted that to happen, Lucy. I loved you. I loved you from the start. Oh, Michael, I hope you take good care of Stop it! Stop it right now! Oh, you, you think you're gonna get off with that? You think you're gonna get off with murder? You want anything? Come on, I'm gonna drop you! You can't do this! I'll stop Cooper! Yes, sir. This way, sir. Oh, Michael, please. You. These gentlemen are here for Mr. Lawrence. Where are you taking him? The court-appointed psychiatrist has ruled out Mr. Lawrence unfit to stand trial. What? Oh, wait a minute. There's got to be a new guy. I don't make like it any better. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? All right. Please, sir Cooper, you have a job He's to do. He's thinking. Open the door, officer. Oh, you... Robert, listen to me. I'm going to go home. This is wrong. Robert, this is... I'm Use telling you. Use the if you need to, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Hello. 
You will be reevaluated for your life. Forget the reevaluation. What are you talking about? Where, where are you taking me? I'll take you to your new room. Let me tell you something. For the record, I'm against this. There's been a mistake here. Lucy, please tell them. They're not listening. This is over. This is not over, Robinson. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, uh, you have a serious problem, I Liz. sure do. do. And taking it lightly isn't going to make it any easier. Listen, while you're in the neighborhood, why not stop by the psych ward on your way oh, out? Oh, yeah, you'd know where that is. Maybe they have a special on paranoid delusions for the terminally jealous. Oh, you know, I read a fascinating article on jealousy once in this magazine. Their research shows that jealousy stems from a massive insecurity complex. They even have one of those rate yourself tests in the back. Let me see. On a scale of one to ten, one being secure, ten maniacally jealous, I'd say you score about fifty. Ooh, you wretched piece of psycho babble. Who are you to analyze anybody? You're so incredibly insecure and jealous of me. You can't stand it. You're so jealous your eyes are green. You little fraud. You know I ought to pound you. Because you are just a hypocrite. You're a lying little fraud. Oh, go Wait. away. Go away. Wait. You're lying. You can get up out of your bed. I guess it got locked. By itself? I'm glad you're here, Ross. How did your court case go with Josh? I am out of jail, as you can see. I... I called as soon as I heard. Hi, Amanda. Are, are you all right? Oh, yeah. Fine, fine. Don't worry. Would you excuse us for just one minute, please? You think you're doing it. Oh, oh, no, it's, it's a lot worse. You can't be yelling at Amanda. She is sick. No, you don't understand something. She's not. I understand that you locked her in a shed and left her there to freeze. And I also understand that I come into this hospital and I find that you're yelling at her while she's in her hospital bed. What is the matter with you? Wait a minute. Why are you getting mad at me? If anybody should be mad, it's me, at you. You had me arrested. And you locked up next to that transvestite who's killed three people and thinks he's Martha Damn Stewart. Like, who let you out of jail? What difference does it make? I'm out. Who got you out of jail? It was... Uh... Forgotten your benefactor already? It was Amanda, right? Otherwise known as the woman you just threatened. Have you gone completely crazy? That woman is the devil in drag. She is selling a load. I can't believe that you're buying it. Oh, Amanda. Uh, don't blame Blake. Oh, don't you dare defend me to my husband, Amanda. There's no way she could have known that what she did would nearly cost me money. Oh, bravo, Sarah. Author, author. All right, that's enough. I don't think you should be out of bed, especially with this no, IV thing. I'm, I'm all right. Yes, I'm... she's all right, Russ. Look at her color. She's brilliant. Only hospital you need is the mental. Oh, oh that's a nice oh, touch. Yeah, that's... You know, that's worthy of the Oscar. Hey, I can be out of here. Dust that baby off and hand it to you. That's fine. Oh, Blake sorry. Blake isn't the place. Well, I uh, please, please don't, place. don't, don't be angry with Blake, please. She's, she's just having a bad day. Wait a second, wait a second. The court has decided Brent Lawrence is wacko? Yeah, that's what the psychiatrist said. We tried everything we could, but Brent still kept acting like Marion. He is snapped. He's totally snapped. Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's going to get off. I mean it. Don't tell me that. They're sending him to a psychiatric prison. For how long? Why don't you tell him what you told us, Frank? My guess is that he'll be there for a short period of time, and then he'll eventually come out of Marion's character. Mm -hmm. He'll play the model patient role. And then he'll fake out the shrinks there, and then he'll be back on the streets in two years. What? Two, no. Yeah. No, that cannot happen. It's the American way. Well, I think if they'd even cut her up there in heaven, looking down here, hoping to see justice, they see this. I wish Brent was dead. I wish he had fallen from the top of that lighthouse. Should have happened. That yeah, would be I had the chance, justice. and I didn't take it. No, no, you did the right thing. At least now you don't have to live with his death on your heart. Believe me, I know what it's like to drag around regrets for the rest of your life. It's not fun. This way, Brent's going to have to deal with his own conscience. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't think Brent or Marion has one. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what your mother would have said about this? What? Nadine would have said, pity Brent Lawrence. He's going to be alone for the rest of his life, but we got each other. We got family to lean on. Family that gets through the hard times. <laughs>
could have fooled me. Maybe I was acting like him, but that's only because the only way to fight him is to come at him with his own game. So you admit you've been acting like Roger? Was, Dinah, was. I was at the bus station getting ready to go to the West Coast. And then it hit me that I was becoming like my old man. I rest my case. Please listen to me. I'm calling security. Okay, Roger would have cut his losses and left, okay? But I realized that I, I couldn't leave all my problems behind. Give me security, please. Peter, Bridget, you. Then I realized, hey, you know what? This is not going to happen. I decided to come back here and face whatever I have to face, do whatever I can to do to make it up to you. You shouldn't have bothered. I wish you had known me before I ever found Roger, because I was a lot different then. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you were real innocent. You know, you can call it whatever you want. But the point is, is that the last thing I want to do is end up like my old man. Well, considering your gene pool, there's probably not a whole lot you can do about that. I don't see any difference between you and Roger. You both stomp around town squashing anyone who gets in your way. Maybe the only difference at the moment is that Roger still wants me. You're not actually going to fall for that, are you? Well, I know he's insanely jealous of you, and he's trying to bury the image of me making love to his son, but he says he can do it because he can't live without me. He's willing to take me back on any terms. And that doesn't scare you. Why would it scare me? Because that's Roger the manipulator talking. He's up to something, and you're not going to be safe until we find out what it is. I know for a fact that he would never take back a woman who would publicly humiliate him. He'd kill her first. Well, apparently not this time. Sorry. Roger Thorpe's standard operating procedure is that when he's forgiving you for something, you better watch your back. Well, if I do that, how can I keep my eye on you? Don't worry about me. Okay, I'll find out what he's up to and I'll be in touch, okay? Don't do me any favors. Oh, I, uh, almost forgot something here. Looks a lot better on you than me. A whole lot better. Take your time. Just go down here. Yeah. Ross. What? I'm I'm leaving now. Are you gonna come? No, in a while. I want to make sure that Amanda's gonna be all right here. Which is exactly what she wants. Blake, honey, now. please keep your right. Did you see Not that now. she's manipulating both of you? I can't. Oh. I know this is none of my business. You're right, it's none of your business. I make an exception to your case, Please don't. Okay? Don't, because I have been judged enough for one day. Blake, I know how you feel. No, you don't. You don't know what it's like to love somebody so much, and they can't see it. No, there's where you're wrong. Well, okay. All right, there you go. That's better, my big guy. I promise I will see both of you tomorrow. Hey, maybe we can have dinner over my place. That'll be fun. Yeah. Okay? That'll be great, Chief. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't want to wear that stethoscope of Dr. Rick's, I have a huge box of extra tongue depressors. <gasps> You'll like that, right, Shane? <laughs> can I make things with them? You can make anything you want. See, he's fine now. Thank you. You are a very brave little girl. What about me? You're brave too, son. Now listen, you guys, uh... You guys say goodbye to Annie. She's gonna yeah. get going. Yeah. Oh, come here. Big hug. And don't forget to say your prayers tonight, okay? Uh -huh. All right. Mara? Honey? Mara? That is right. You don't have to say goodbye because it's more like a... It's more like a kiss. See you later. Or, or see you tomorrow, right? Okay? Come here. Come on. There you go. Uh, Mara, why don't you uh, take Shane upstairs for a minute, okay? Love them so much, huh? Well, they love you too, obviously. One day at a, at a time. This shouldn't be happening. It's so unfair. It's mean and deliberate, and we both know who's responsible for it. And 
It will be over soon, I promise you. I... I just got an awful feeling right now. What? I... I'm just afraid that... I'm just afraid that when I walk out that door that I'm not coming back. I'm surprised it's not in your trophy case. I don't keep trophies. Oh, you don't have any room left? Trophies are for people who live in the past. Take good care of yourself. Better. Oh, I feel much. Amanda, you're being very civilized about all this, and I appreciate it. Oh, not at all. I don't know why you're not furious with Blake. Oh, life is too short to spend it being angry. I say it's best to just forgive, forget. Huh? I'll look in on you later, okay? If there's anything that you need, don't hesitate to call, all right? Okay, thank you. Get some rest. Hold it. Just, just do the deep breathing thing, you know? I don't in. think that's gonna work. <clears throat> you know, I am so mad I could spit. Really? Ah, uh, gee. So you're gonna, you're gonna go home and, and, and talk to Blake and, and I... No, I don't think I'd trust myself. I'd strangle her. Listen, why don't you use the cab and then get in your car, drive up there, spend the night. No one's using it. Just cool off, right? It's gonna be fine. All right, I think I'll take you up on that. Maybe some time at the cabin, I can figure out what the hell I'm doing. Ooh, better than this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Dracula for your thoughts. Oh, I was just hoping to catch a glimmer. A glimmer of what? What the future holds. Well, whatever it is, I bet on you. No such thing as a defeated Reva, is there? From your lips to God's ear. before you know it, I promise you. And if Reva has anything to do with it? Reva's done everything she's gonna do. I'm gonna take care of that. What are you gonna do? I'll handle it, that's all. How? I'll figure something out. Uh, you, you'll know before I carry you back across this threshold, okay? You make, make sure that they say the prayers you... You know how Shane likes to pretend that he's asleep. I promise. You too. You too.
just me. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess you are surprised to hear from me, but I'll tell you what, you are the only person who can help me out with Reaver right now. This has been Guiding Light.